Polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, is a hormonal disorder in women that results in elevated male hormone levels. This condition may lead to excess facial and body hair, hair loss, and can increase the risk of long-term issues such as diabetes and heart disease. Meet 29-year-old Alice Asamani, businesswoman and a student who is living with PCOS. She tells me some of her symptoms and what led to her diagnosis. I got to know when I was 19. So after a year, I realized my period was reducing. Instead of seven, it dropped to six, then dropped to five, four. Then I realized it was off, and that was it. And because I was buying my own menstrual pad, I was happy that I was gone because I was tired of buying their pad. She shares how difficult it is to cope with the condition. When I was almost 20, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, anytime I wake up, I've not done anything because I'm tired. So one day I was just in the house helping my mom with the delay activities. And all of a sudden I felt a sharp pain. The next move was it. I just fell and that was it. She's not the only one. I've come to meet Juliet Asantua, who's also suffering from PCOS. For her, her condition is quite obvious as a result of her facial hair. I've been using waxing cream and other cream to just peel it off because if I shave it, within three days, it's coming out. The hormones in the male is very high in me rather than the, the female one. I'm lucky I have the breast coming up. This albino hair, very reddish, and so they used to laugh at me. Hey, I then like, I see if you are an albino, and that's tough. So before I realized at the age of 12 years, it was coming plenty. When I got there, at the age of 15 years, my beard were all over, and then it was small, small, and just like a man's own. She shares how she's managed to cope with the condition. From the age of 15 years, and when I get uh, my medicines from um, this man, the next man jumps. The next two months, it comes, it goes off. So the age of 20, 21 years, because of the medicine the doctor prescribed for me, it was able to correct itself at the age of 21 years. But from 25 years to 30 years, it just got back to the other stage again. The toll of the condition particularly that of her facial hair is not just on her. Her partner also bears the brunt of her condition. When I met her first, the, the beard was the beard was kind of like very thick. Much like uh, like the male ones, you know. Mm -hmm. Until you know, I try to psych her in a in a way that like she can reduce it, so like it wouldn't be too masculine. Because at the point, like people saw her kind of like. Are they will your bear man, uh, you know, that kind of that kind of way. Consultant obstetrician gynecologist and senior lecturer at the University of Ghana Medical School, Dr. Promise Afoga, shares more light on the condition. It's a disorder that affects the function of a woman's ovaries. So this is what the normal ovary looks like. Okay? And the woman has two ovaries to each side of the lower abdomen in the pelvis. So in PCOS, this is what the ovary will now look like. So the ovary has tiny, multiple, like balloon-like things, which we call the cysts, okay? So in a normal ovary, you have about 10 to 20 of these that develop at the beginning of the woman's menstrual cycle. As she's approaching the time of ovulation, one of them gets big enough and releases the egg, and that is ovulation. But then, in PCOS, we have a number of them 10, 12 of them, all trying to develop at the same time. None really gets to mature to release the egg. And so as a result, ovulation doesn't happen in a good number of them. And so fertilization doesn't happen. And then the other hormonal changes that should follow ovulation for the normal menstruation to happen also do fail to happen. He says early detection is key in managing the disease. The polycystic ovarian syndrome tends to be complicated with this metabolic syndrome, particularly diabetes and high cholesterol. It's advisable that the woman with PCOS tries to manage her weight because the weight gain further complicates the hormonal imbalance. And so that increases the risk for diabetes. And so eating healthy is 
pretty much a big deal for these women. Avoid a lot of animal products. All is not lost living with PCOS. Like Alice in Asantua, patients are able to live fulfilling lives. With proper medical guidance and lifestyle adjustments, many individuals with PCOS can manage their symptoms effectively. Awareness and education are also important, empowering women to seek help early and advocate for their health needs.